Last week's giveaway winner is here. Stay tuned to the end of the video for details on this week's winner. <laughs> we are gonna build an AR-15. I got a suppressor that is now out of ATF jail. I am going to add this muzzle device to this new upper. It's a 14 and a half inch BCM upper. It's gonna go on this BCM lower. We're gonna drill it and pin it and weld it in place. And then we're gonna put a bunch of accessories on it. I have BCM's new Mark II Ambi charging handle we're gonna put on it. I have one of BCM's new aim point mounts and we're gonna put it on a T2. And then we're gonna put some Magpul sights on it and a sling. And I think about then we're gonna call it good and we're gonna go shoot the thing. Boom. And thread this on here. At this point, we are going to drill this out the rest of the way. Anyone who's a machinist is gonna be like, that guy is a joker. That's threading on, so that works. And then I need to get a pin. Oh yeah. And so that, I think is good to go. I mean, not everybody, you don't need to own a gun if you don't wanna own a gun. I think we would be a better place if everybody owned a gun and took gun ownership seriously. And on a macro level, yes. We should, all, we should be all about guns and gun ownership and stewardship. On an individual micro level, does each and every individual without exception need to own a gun and know how to use it? No. There's a symbolic piece to it of like this means something, it means independence and it means freedom. Like I remember when I first started thinking about it, Maybe 20 years ago, I recognized that the individual ownership of guns is a legitimate check on the government. That now has become kind of a trendy concept that is a little cliche. And there's also the concept that the individual gun just gives you independence because you can go kill stuff and eat it, right? And all the things that, like that, both of those things are true at the same time. The independence and freedom of killing an animal was cliche 15 or 20 years ago and the idea that this was a check on the government was like crazy. And now we're almost have swung the opposite way. And in one sense, it's laughable because in the micro, it is hilarious. But in the macro of, oh, you mean there's however many, there's 70 million AR-15s or 160 million AR-15s or whatever in circulation. And that's, that's something. And so on a macro level, yes, we should all own guns. We should know how to use them like they can provide for your family and they can protect your family and they can provide for you and they can protect you both as an individual and as a community and that is all really important. Next step is going to be the charging handle. That would be like the whole thing. So we're going to put this Geisley trigger in it. Now usually I either do an SSA um, or I do a super dynamic combat. But this time, I decided I would go with super tricon trigger. So the trigger that my friend Jeff Gonzalez had them do for him. just a little bit crisper. I am gonna put a magnifier on there. I'm gonna do what Kyle does, and I'm gonna put it on backwards. We're gonna put it on so it rotates inward instead of rotating outward. So the idea here is that you're inside and it doesn't, I mean, when you're at a ready position, it's not really in the way and then you're shooting that much of an issue and then you can do, kind of do that and flop it in. So 
So that is the rifle I'm gonna run. I might put a light on it, I might not. I guess I got some lights, I should put a light on it. I'll figure that out. We'll add that to it later, maybe when we go to the range. Uh, I mean, the gear we have now is like so awesome compared to the gear we had 15, 20 years ago. Like, if you're making a stupid gun, you almost have to try really hard right now. And if you are, it's because you're cheap, right? Because you buy some stupid Chinese light that has some lame mounting system and cord. I mean, oh, as a philosophy, I want everything as small and as light as possible. And so if you have some nice tight, I mean, I've seen people who have some thin rail and they put some weird Picatinny thing on there and they add some other weird, and they have this light that's like, they have basically like something that's hanging off it like that, that is their light. And then they have some weird lame um, wire or something like that to a switch and it just is funny looking and doesn't work very well. And generally it gets in the way and falls off or breaks and it sorts itself out pretty quick. And I guess the other thing that I need to put on here is some rail covers. So I'm gonna put, put my hand out there where I would want my rail covers to be. The thing is like at this point you have like a company like Bravo Company Manufacturing or something and basically you can buy anything they make and it probably is gonna work like it's gonna work well and it's gonna work way better than anything we had 15 years ago. So relatively straightforward. Um, and really like any company like BCM or Geisley or you know, probably Sons of Liberty, like all those kind of companies, you're gonna get a good quality gun that is gonna work. Don't do 31, Tom. Huh? Don't do 31. Did you do 31 last time? Yeah. Who, Brian or Me. Carl? Make sure you like and subscribe. To enter this week's giveaway, we want you to answer the question, why do you own a rifle? Uh, leave your answer in the comments section below.